Hey friends, this is Mikey and JJ. Today we have a very special day. Today, Mikey and I are going to take a giant rocket to the moon. We've been told there are aliens on the moon. Yes, we've already built an incredibly huge science station to get us ready to go. We've spent a lot of time and effort on this. The villagers said there was new life waiting for us on the moon. We also still need to gather as many resources as we can to explore. Mikey and I have been preparing for this for a long time. There are very few people on our planet who have gone into space, and even less who have gone to the moon. That's why we decided to fix it! We haven't done this before, so our adventure will be unforgettable. That's right. We haven't been to the moon yet. But before we do all that, we need to get well prepared and get our equipment. It's really important in space, because without it we won't be able to accomplish our mission. We also still need to get our weapons. All our cool weapons will be in our rocket. So we won't overdo it, and of course, we'll just put on our cool costumes. JJ, I'm really looking forward to going into space. We've spent weeks on this. We've never been this close to launching our own rocket. It's really true. We've been collecting money from the whole village so we can start our research. Here are some real scientists in front of you. Mikey and JJ. It even sounds really funny that we are real scientists. But friends, we really are. We are doing a very important thing. We are creating a real movement to the aliens to make first contact with them. Then, we can make friends with them if they are not enemies. If they are our enemies, we will have to destroy them as soon as possible because they are a danger to our planet. Friends, look at all the cool costumes and gadgets we got. These are all necessary to escape and survive inside space. All of these extra things are designed to help us get around safely and without problems. It looks weird, but you can get used to it. We have had a few test rocket launches, but I can tell you one thing. They were very, very unsuccessful. That's why we've created a new rocket. This rocket will definitely reach its destination and land us on the moon. If we can really do it, it will be a great victory. Yes, our friends in the village will have a party and we will be doing really important work. We will be working on the moon. The problem is that research can take a lot of time, effort, resources, and of course our health. It could really be a big problem for us to continue our work. After all, health problems are the most serious problems. I really hope that we will be able to survive and withstand all the stresses that the journey will put on us. Because it is very difficult to travel in a rocket. Friends, but before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to us and give us likes. Your support is very important to us. The more likes you give, the more cool videos we'll have. And of course, your activity will help us get to space in the moon. It's really important to us, so we'll be grateful for your activity. So Mikey, we're almost at our launch site. Phew, I'm really ready for this. It takes a good pulling together and realizing that there's one last step left. It's later. We'll just fly to the very top. This is our first trip, and that's why I'm really excited. I've never been so excited, not even when fighting legendary monsters. It's just that if something happens to us on the flight, it will be really bad. We might not get off the moon at all. So, we have to take it as seriously as possible. After all, one mistake, and we'll be there forever. I don't think that's what you or I want. We want to fulfill our mission and go back. That's the main reason we're going anywhere at all. I really hope there are no problems or breakdowns. But if that happens, we have a really cool connection. We'll be able to hear each other. So Mikey, here are our rockets. Let's get launched and fly as fast as we can. There's a little countdown to launch. Oh, I'm so excited. I really hope our exploration goes safely and we can get out. Let's take off from our planet little by little. Don't you worry. The coordinates and everything is set up so that we will definitely meet up and be close to each other. I'm sure everything will go great. Whoa, we did it. We were able to get off the ground and we're flying up. This is a really big win. Moon, wait for us. Yeah, it's a really big win. We are flying smooth and well. Nothing is broken. This means that our flight will be really very successful. Soon we will be on the moon. That means we will be plummeting downward. And I really hope my capsule can withstand that kind of impact. That's it. We're going all the way down, friends. Oh no, JJ, I must be losing control and connection. This is just awful. Help me as fast as you can. Mikey, hang on. Oh, friends, that was a really hard landing, but we still managed to reach our goal. We landed on the moon. 
Only I can't see Mikey at all. Hey, buddy, get in touch. You must be around here somewhere, right? I can't believe we got blown away. Actually, it's really weird. Mikey's not making contact and his ship isn't around. Something must have broken in our navigation. This could really end badly. Because we've arrived on another planet and we have absolutely no idea what to do here. There are too many problems for us to deal with. There could be aliens here that we wanted to get in touch with as soon as possible. But apparently, they may still be hostile to us. That's why I need to get my weapons that fell off the ship as soon as possible. After all, it will really help me survive. The biggest problem is that I'm all alone. There are different signs here, apparently showing me where to go. But it could be a big mistake for me to follow these signs. After all, there could quietly be some kind of trap there. But I already have a cool weapon. I certainly won't be afraid of any aliens. In general, we came to this planet to get as much ore as possible, and of course, to get to know the aliens. I hope I'll get through this quickly so we can get on with things. That's why I need to find Mikey. He would be a great help to me in my quest. I just don't understand at all why my connection is broken. It's supposed to be working fine. I was hoping everything would work fine. Do I think Mikey's been taken by aliens? If that's true, that's really bad news. I'll have to rescue him as soon as possible. After all, if the aliens are aggressive, I'll have to fight them. And one against them all is going to be hard for me. But I think I'm up to the task, sooner or later. Actually, the whole problem is that each of us is trying to win. It doesn't really matter how, but we have to achieve victory. I really hope that after such a hard landing, we can escape from this moon very quickly. Because if they don't let us out, we won't be able to live here sooner or later. We have no food, air, or water here. It's really a terrible place. That's why my main goal is to find Mikey. I really hope he's out there somewhere. I need to find him first and then mine the ore. Or the other way around. JJ, can you hear me? Come in. Oh, my connection is really broken. Mikey, I can hear you. Where are you? I thought you were supposed to crash next to me. What's going on? JJ, I've been taken over by aliens. They've got a whole village here and they're very dangerous. They're keeping me in a cage. They're keeping you in a cage? That's unbelievably horrible. I'm going to run to you as fast as I can to rescue you. But where exactly? I saw them going to some kind of arrow. It's probably pointing to their village. Just be careful. There are really a lot of them. It's okay, Mikey. You're alive and that's good enough for me. I will destroy them all very quickly and deceive them all. The problem is you have to make sure they don't catch me. If indeed they do, it'll be incredibly cool. I want to finish this whole thing. JJ, I can't keep this conversation going for long. They're following me and the connection is fading. I'll tell you something once in a while. Fine, don't do anything to them. Leave all the trouble to me. I can beat them very quickly and of course get you out. Of course it's too bad the aliens took Mikey. I'll have to get him out of captivity as soon as possible. Because he's my best friend. How did I ever get the coordinates so wrong? I was hoping we could each get to the same place. And we'd have fun and explore the moon. And now, we've already got problems. That need to be solved as soon as possible. It's not fair at all. Hey, you, stop this right now. You've come to an alien village. We don't know you and you could be dangerous to us. Hey, you look just like my friend Mikey. Does that mean you kidnapped him? Confess right now. Yes, we have your friend. We're not letting him go until you do some errands for us. We're sending you to work in the mine. We totally didn't want to fight him, but it had to be done. That's why, while he's in our prison, you'll have to earn money for us to let him go. These are the conditions we have for your friend. So if I work for you in the mine, you will let my friend go? It's that simple? You won't touch him or me. Yes, it's very, very simple. We are not a highly developed village. That's why we need as much or as possible. You will work for us and we will pay you with your friend. Okay, is this the kind of ore you need? I just have special glasses that allow me to see the ore underground. I can mine a lot of it. Yes, that's exactly the ore we need. If we can get as much of it as possible, we will be the most progressive village on the moon. That's really what we need. If you get all this stuff, we can make our own rocket and go to Earth. Capture your planet. The most important thing for me is to get Mikey. I'm willing to do anything to save him. Just give me that opportunity. My points will allow me to get all this ore fast enough. That's why I want to finish this as quickly
quickly as possible. That's why we're making a deal with you. I dig your mind for you, and you give Mikey to me. But if you break your word, I will destroy you very quickly. Whoa, you really found the ore very quickly. Yes, I agree. All the villagers won't touch your friend. That's why, solve our problem. Okay, then I'll go to the mine. Dig it, and mine the ore as fast as possible. I have to save my friend Mikey, even though I don't like the idea of working. JJ, don't listen to those monsters. They really won't keep their word. If you give them the ore, they'll make a rocket and attack our house. That sounds really, really bad. Then what should I do? Do I have to get out and fight them or what? What is my plan of action next? Yes, you should try to destroy them as soon as possible. Try to dig into the center of the village and attack them. Don't worry about me. Destroy them as fast as possible so they can't even get to me. That would really be the best way to help me. Okay, Mikey. I'll trust you. Friends, we are now going to fight the aliens of this planet. I'm sure I can save my best friend. I'm going to have to act very, very fast. I don't have much time to waste. We must attack at once and not let them get too far away from me. I have cool weapons, so it will be much easier for me to fight them. They certainly won't be expecting me to attack them now. So, we need to act as quickly as possible. I have cool guns in two hands at once. I will fire at them and destroy them very quickly. They won't even realize what it was. And I'll have already won them all. Oh no, our village is under attack. JJ didn't keep his word and attacked us. Everyone must gather and destroy him at once. We must not give up Mikey. It's our only key to defeating the two of them and of course taking over their planet. Don't let him out. Mikey, I'm gonna save you! It's the aliens who can't stop me! My guns are much stronger and faster firing than they are attacking! That's why I'll be able to destroy them very quickly and of course win! I'll have you out in a few minutes. Wait for me! Witches, attack him! Destroy him and don't let him capture Mikey! This is your most important mission for today. I think you're doing something very strange. I don't understand at all. We can work together and gain incredible power. I don't need incredible power. I need my friend to be with me, not you aliens. I will destroy every one of you who stops me and Mikey from being reunited. It's as simple as that. Then I have no choice but to send all my powers to Mikey and destroy him. That will be my final decision and I'll run away. Oh no, I have to get to Mikey as fast as I can. I need to destroy all these monsters as fast as possible and protect Mikey. That's all that matters now. JJ, I'm fine. You don't have to hurry yet. Those monsters are distracted by you and are taking their time to listen to my copy of the alien. I'm defeating all these witches very quickly. They're really no match for me. They're going to have to learn a lot. Mikey, I've already completed all the tasks. Too bad. I wanted to help you with something. But my task now is to destroy literally this entire village. I don't want to leave a block behind. I have just the right weapon for that. That's why when you get me out, we'll destroy the farm and their houses. That's really the right thing to do. We don't need aliens like that anymore. We've realized our main problem. That's why we'll think differently. We must not let them develop further. After all, they wanted to take over our planet. Let's not let them do that, my friend. Yes, this is really very important. I thought we could make friends with these aliens. But here's how it turned out. We're destroying them. That's okay. Once we're done here, we'll head back to our planet immediately. We'll make a ship with resources on the moon. Great plan. That means we'll solve everything pretty quickly and we'll be home. Then, we can finally prove to the villagers that we're incredibly cool. They'll already call us heroes because we were able to go to the moon and get back out. That's already an incredibly big accomplishment. Also, we did a reconnaissance mission. All I can say is that it was a success. If anything, we'll come here again, but only later. That's incredibly cool, JJ. We're almost there. Yoo-hoo, you did it, JJ. You were able to find me on the whole moon and save me. You are my true hero. I can't say it was hard. After all, there's really only one road to go to. But anyway, issue me a weapon to destroy everything here. Yeah, right. I have plasma cannons, so we can use them to destroy literally everything in this village. That's what we'll do. Anyway, these aliens don't need the village anymore. There are still others hiding somewhere. 
but we'll destroy them quickly and forget about them. So, you can shoot all you want, Mikey. They kidnapped you, and that's reason enough to get back at them. It'll be really easy. The biggest explosion is ready to destroy literally everything at once. So we're going to have to destroy this place very quickly. Don't let a single block stay here. If we destroy this village once and for all, the aliens won't attack our Earth. Yes, if we hadn't crashed our rocket, we wouldn't have been able to go through and destroy the aliens. It worked out better than we thought. Mikey, we're just incredibly awesome at destroying everything. I'd really like to shoot some more with this gun. Now let's destroy as many of their houses as we can. I was really hoping the aliens would be our friends. But it's probably what's outside that's important to the others. Jewels and power grabs. Now we realize that we will never be friends with monsters again. That doesn't even need to be verified. It will be immediately obvious. Anyway, friends, we have passed an incredibly great test. It's time for us to say goodbye. See you very soon. And goodbye, everyone.